This is a four wheeler, and you're watching this on the Wild Brush Show. And this is a Kawasaki, a Kawasaki Brute Force, to be exact. And we're going to figure out how much gas mileage a four wheeler gets. This is a Kawasaki Brute Force 650, 650 cc, I believe. Makes about 47 horsepower, but it is a so it is a twin cylinder, and it is very powerful, and it goes fast. But what is interesting, what we want to figure out in this video is how efficient, like what kind of gas mileage do you get out of one of these? And some people think it's pretty bad, and it might be. So we're going to figure that out today. And the system we're going to use is so this has a odometer on it and a speedometer. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a picture of the mileage to start with. Then what we're gonna do is, so it's out of fuel. It's like out, like zero, like out, out. Bone dry, like bone dry. And we're gonna put just one gallon of gas in it, and we're gonna see how far we can make it. So we'll just, you know, drive it around and tell it runs out of gas. And then we'll take another picture, add numbers up or take numbers out, whatever how many miles we've got and then that'll tell us how far we can go so we're gonna do that okay so more features about this thing first these lights do not work they're only on here to make it look cool and my mom usually uses this four-wheeler to spray the spray weeds so it has this electrical stuff hooked up so and we would usually put a sprayer on the back um, you get extra smushy moose seat you get a, your gear shifter here your turny on switch here. You got two wheel drive or four wheel drive selector. You have your throttle here, front brake here, parking brake over here, differential control, lights dim and bright. You get start the starter button, the shut off button and the reverse override button and a choke. So you can choke and kill it. And the, the air filters are here and you got your battery stuff down here. And yeah, so it is dusty because it's dusty out here. And I do try and wash it off. So we're gonna get started. I'll take a picture of what the starting mileage is on this and we'll drive it around. And I'm not gonna, we're not gonna show like me just driving and driving and driving because I think that gets kind of boring. But we'll drive it around and we'll see what gas mileage we get. So let's get driving. Day three, still not out of gas. I'm gonna drive, do some driving around. And, and I'm gonna make it quick, cause this thing, it's getting sweaty in here. So I'm gonna do maybe a cookie. I'm not gonna get crazy. You know, there's plenty of people on YouTube who do crazy stuff and get hurt and blah, blah, blah. And they, you watch theirs, but I'm just gonna kind of drive around here a little more and maybe we'll get some drone shots or drone footages or something. But I feel like a chipmunk. I feel like my cheeks are full of nuts, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get driving. Let me get that off now. also want to be careful when you're driving around you can really get hurt when you're being stupid you know four wheelers can really hurt you and it's not even them hurting you it's the person driving so if you're stupid and don't know anything about four wheelers don't ride them unless you have proper training proper licensing all this other be or stuff so yeah so don't get hurt wear a helmet you know some people you need to wear gloves and long sleeves and right pants you know all this stuff boot you don't want to get hurt because if you get hurt then you have to go to the hospital and the doctor and that's no fun so be safe
don't don't be stupid okay i'm trying not to be stupid but sometimes anything anything that's fun is usually dangerous so so yeah uh, if it's fun it's dangerous so if you just want to be a safe little kid uh yeah you can do that too but i mean you can have fun and be safe too i guess there's that whatever well, uh, yeah, I'm going to drive off now. Be safe. Don't get hurt. Uh, make sure you have insurance and all that stuff, you know, you're, you, you, you yeah, so, uh, oh, oh, yeah, and food, you know, you know, you just got to be safe, and it, 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 it pays to be safe, okay, safety first, what, shut the camera off, what? okay, yes, this is a four-wheeler, or a quad bike, whatever, whenever I talk about quad bike, everybody's like, what's a quad bike? I'm like, it's a four-wheeler, four-wheeler, four wheels, whatever. This one is green, green. So it's good for the earth, okay? It's green. And since it, and hopefully it gets good gas mileage, so it'll be eco, because we need to be friendly. Like, look how, look, all the carbon, look at all the carbon. It's drawing out. Climate change. We are in crisis mode right now. So, when Tesla makes the four-wheeler stuff, buy Tesla four-wheelers. You get 30 miles of range. You can charge the battery for two hours. It'll be great. So, yeah. And they don't go that fast. 19 miles an hour, too, so you don't need any of this gear. It's like a power wheel, almost. You know, those little baby power wheels. You Only more gear. expensive, like 80-ton four -wheel. Yeah, or yeah, a $3,000 power wheel, so... But you know, three thousand dollars when you're a million. Well, three thousand dollars isn't nothing. Like this, this, this was two thousand dollars. Yes, it almost has five thousand miles on it, and it only has seven hundred hours. I don't know which is better, but uh, yeah, two thousand dollars or three thousand for a kitty a power wheel thingy. Kitty power wheel. So, yeah. I feel really dumb right now because my cheeks are squishing and it feels like they're falling nuts. This thing is sweaty too. All right. We'll see uh, whenever we're, we get this mission accomplished.
think we're out of gas. Yeah. Okay, so we finally got to the point. So we're out of gas now. So what we'll do is we'll take a picture of the speedometer, not the speedometer, the odometer, and we'll compare it to the picture before, which was like a week ago. And we'll do the math. But let me get let's get this pushed up. So this thing weighs about 600 pounds. And be quiet, dog. And I mean it pushes it doesn't push too bad really. Um now we are kind of on flat gravel. But yep. So Okay. So here's what okay, so we'll do the math. I'll show Okay, so here's a picture of the starting mileage. Okay. So now and now we'll take a picture of this. So I took a picture. Here's the picture of the ending result. And it adds up. So it's 60 miles. We went 60 miles. Just around here. Like I did about average 10 miles a day. I tried to keep it at 20 miles per hour just driving around. But I might have went slower, 10 here and there. But still, 60 miles an hour. It's got, you know, it's a it's a V, it's not a V, it's a twin cylinder engine. And it, so on one gallon, 60 miles, and this tank full holds four and a half gallons. So if you do that. So on a full tank of gas, you could go 270 miles. So that's pretty good for a four wheeler. I, I mean, maybe there, maybe there's better four wheelers they get, or they get better gas mileage, but still, you know, that's, that's pretty good. And that took a week though, but what I was gonna, oh, what I forgot to mention over here. So this, so down here, I did get more, a little more fuel put in this so we can actually start it. But it has pull start. Okay. So in the winter time, this thing does not start. Like when you try an electric start up. Like see. It'll start right up. Because it's summer. But in the winter, no, 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 no. It will not. So, but, and my dad couldn't get this pull start to work. Here, look down here. Like it, so it like locks. So you just in and out and then. It unlocks it. So then you can just. And we just do that in the winter. Just put the choke on. And it would just start fire right up. Now, when my mom tries to start this thing, she knows how to start it now. But she, you know, she get on and she turn it on and she put the gas all the way and she's go. Like just cranking, cranking, cranking. It never started because she was flooding it. And then I just walk over and be like, bro, she's like, this thing you won't start. I just walk over and be like, oh yeah. I don't want to copy Cabby Lane, but I'm like, one start, but she can't pull the thing. So. Oh, no, it's because she broke her foot. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thank you for tuning into this episode of the Wild Bro Show. Uh, hopefully. I hope, hope you enjoyed this video. I, it was, it, I don't know. It could have been better, but I think it was pretty good. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. So later.